Get ready to game on your fire stick. Get ready to go underwater with your solid state cooling and get ready for Intel's graphics to be Way better. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your bright host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I could find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast this Friday, June 28th, 2024. We're gonna start off today talking about the partnership between Microsoft and Amazon with regards to the Fire Stick TV things that you plug into the back of your little television and make it so that you now have Xbox cloud gaming availability. This is gonna be available to the Fire TV Stick 4K and Fire TV Stick 4K Max, allowing you to have Xbox cloud gaming but on any TV that has an HDMI port and you don't have to necessarily spend as much money as you previously had to. Currently, these Fire TV 6 will support Bluetooth controllers, allowing you to actually game on them. And with the pricing on these being between $40 and $60, depending on the sale price, that brings a lot more accessibility to Xbox gaming market in the cloud streaming variety. Xbox X Cloud has been something that they've been pushing for a little while. There are also leaked patents and images of a previous device that was supposed to be a cloud only Xbox streaming thing that was supposed to sell for $100, but it looks like they're just gonna partner up with various different companies to make this happen. You've seen it on things like LG and Samsung's TVs where they have the Xbox cloud gaming baked in, but now you don't have to buy an upgraded TV. You just spend 40 bucks and get an Amazon Fire Stick 4K TV stick is what it's gonna be called. The app is coming out in July at some point, no specific ETA, but you know what else you could plug that Fire TV stick into a monitor like today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Lenovo and their Legion lineup of monitors. And I have oh, a favorite monitor of mine right here. It's a little too big to pick up, but this is the R45W-30. This is a 44.5 inch super ultra wide monitor. So that means it has a 32 by nine aspect ratio, which is essentially two displays side by side coming in at a resolution of 5120 by 1440 or two 1440p panels displayed next to each other with an incredibly high refresh rate of 100 170 hertz. You add in the mean pixel response time of one millisecond, the fact that it has a 450 nits brightness and it support for display HDR 400, as well as a 1500R curve, you are getting an immersive gaming experience. We recently got it set up on a space sim here in the office, and it's been incredible to play those games on this thing, because one of the beauties of the 44.5 inches is that it keeps the same resolution as most super ultra wides, but in a smaller compact form factor so that you get a higher pixel per inch versus other super ultra wides out there. You also have USB-C support, HDMI, DisplayPort, a USB hub, true split so that you can have two different sources side by side, as well as AMD's FreeSync Premium Pro support. A 1440p super ultra wide with 170 hertz, HDR certification, a USB-C docking station in a compact form factor for what you're getting. And this is an incredible thing that you should check out for yourself, especially if you're looking to play a bunch of games or even work. Having two screens side by side in a single monitor so that you don't have to deal with bezels is also an incredible thing to have. So you can check out the Lenovo Legion R45W-30 at the link in the video description. Big thanks to the Lenovo for sponsoring today's video. Well, you might need to upgrade your PC to take advantage of the 45 inch super ultra wide Lenovo Legion monitor. And if you do, you'd be in good company because according to reports, the PC market is growing a lot this year and is expected to accelerate its growth next year with industry analysts coming out and saying that the PC market is up 5% from 2023 and is expected to be up 8% going into 2025. 69 million PCs through this year, as well as 78 million through next year. And a lot of this is just coming because of the death of Windows 10 is getting people to upgrade. Windows 11 has been around for a little while now, as well as obviously all of the new mobile chips that are coming out, getting companies to upgrade to that, the birth of AI and the dawn of large language models running locally. All of that seems to be indicating that people want new PCs or companies are buying new PCs and making it so that everybody has to upgrade. But in case you wanna repair your device, Apple is making it both easier, but also potentially harder for independent people to do it. And that's because they're working on a technology to bring electrically induced adhesive debonding to their batteries. Because currently the way it works is that they have little pull tabs of adhesive underneath the battery in case you want to repair or replace any iPhone battery. This new way is going to bond the battery to the shell of the phone because it's going to be encased in metal rather than foil, but applying a single electrical current to that battery on 
on the outside would make it so that it's no longer adhered to the shell of the battery and should just instantly come out at that point, making it easier to repair if you have the proper electrical signal, which uh, you could see how Apple might make this so that only official first party repair places can actively easily do this and it's going to make it more difficult. Whereas I can pull a pull tab here at home, I might not necessarily have the right technology in order to uh, de-zap my battery, even though that might make it easier where you're not dealing with as much mess, but it might make it less accessible overall. And Reese is here to make deals more accessible to you. So deal them up, deal master. Yo, welcome back to Yifty Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. And you know, me, Reese here, deal. And first up today, we have the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L. This ARGB AIO CPU liquid cooler is going for only $49.99 with include promo code, making it $50 half off. And if that's too small for you, we have this EK Waterblock 360 millimeter Elite AIO CPU liquid cooler for a very nice price of only $69.99 with include promo code, making it $28 off. And then lastly, we have this Razer Black Shark V2 Pro Wireless Gaming Headset for only $116.99 with included promo code, making it $63 off. And hey, with that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you off back to Brad for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. And there's a great new deal when it comes to the cooling that might be brought out to smartphones. Furr, which makes the solid state cooling that uses vibrations to actually activate some heat dissipation, has a now announced the AirJet Mini Sport, which is a solid state active cooling solution that is also IP68 water resistant. It has a lot of the same functionality and cooling capacity as the non-sport version. And they're saying that it can cool up to about 5.25 watts a net of 4.25 because the cooler itself will take one watt and it produces a maximum noise of 21 decibels and they also have an example render showing you where the actual air jet for would be placed inside a smartphone making it so that you have better active cooling with no active spinning fans that could potentially break and making it so that you could get faster performance on your phone in a very simple way for brought this up at mobile world conference shanghai potentially to make sure that they get in front of chinese smartphone manufacturers in order to potentially bring it out there. But I've been watching Fur with their AirJet Minis ever since they got announced. They've been in the Zotac Z box. Some YouTubers got to test it out in things like MacBooks, which required precise cutting and dremeling out of the base plate. But seeing it brought to phones looks kind of neat. I'm excited to see where the technology goes. And I'm also incredibly excited to see where Intel's graphics cards are going. And obviously, I got to go out to Intel Tech Tour in Taiwan. We did a sponsored video on this where they detailed everything from Lunar Lake. But now we're getting leaked back benchmarks of how these cheap use actually perform in synthetic benchmarks and they look to be stunning honestly very very impressive now consider the fact that amd is going to be launching their new radeon 890m sometime in july lunar lake according to all of the benchmarks that we're seeing here looks like it actually competes with it so putting the ai9 hx370 next to a lunar lake gpu and the time spy score is within a few points of each other like less than one percent difference between these two they're getting between a 2050 and a 3050 laptop in terms of performance. But one of the biggest deals with all of this is that the Intel laptop is doing it at 30 watts, whereas the AMD laptop is doing it at 54 watts. Now, when you lower the power consumption, because there was tests done at 17 watts on the Lunar Lake chip, the 15 watt AMD version also similarly in the same time scale, it just looks like the peak performance of the Battle Mage graphics that are going into Lunar Lake look like they are as good as whatever AMD is going to be putting into their AI9 HS. X370 chip, but one of the big deals when it comes to that power consumption, that 30 watt power consumption is actually slightly different because that includes the memory since Lunar Lake actually has the memory built into the entire structure. So 30 watts, including memory, that could be accounting for between two to three watts of total performance. So the Lunar Lake at 17 watts, if you subtract the memory out of it, you're getting closer to 15 watts. So it looks like it's going toe to toe at the lower level of power. But then when you get to 30 watts versus 54, you actually you're looking closer 27 to 28 watts versus 54 which is half the exact same performance as amd's 890m at half the power consumption this is honestly very impressive coming out at least in these preliminary synthetic benchmarks we don't know how this is going to apply to gaming there's obviously driver things that have to be worked out but it does look like when intel told us at their itt event that they're looking to get 50 percent extra gaming performance out of the battle mage graphics it looks 
like they're getting very close to hitting that, and I am very excited for that. And you guys were excited to talk to me in the last episode of Hot News, so let's read through your comments. Over on Flowplane, we got S004AWS saying, which company is going to be first to give EU bureaucrats the middle finger and cease doing business in EU member countries? I mean, especially when it comes to the conversation of Apple and Microsoft and these large companies, I don't know if they'll necessarily give them the finger more than it will just be like drag them through the courts, make it take forever, don't actually pay the fines and just kind of get mired in the bureaucratic nonsense because they can play that game just as well as a gigantic uh, governmental agency can. So they have they have a lot of money at their disposal to uh, just make this a legal battle that takes quite some time. And we got Northern Llama on float plane saying tomatoes, sausages, nice Chris pie Balzic. I don't know what you're trying to say there, bud. Then over on YouTube, we got Vorunder saying, if the penalty for a crime is a fine, then that law only exists for the lower class. Final Fantasy Tactics 1997. See, Kyler, that's what we're supposed to be referencing. Final Fantasy Tactics? Did, have you played it? No. You should. It's supposed to be an all-time great. I was born in 1997. You were. Oh, my goodness. And Critical Damage saying, the plans to overthrow Kyler note is just fantastic. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't know. Something in hot news, there was a hidden plan to overthrow you. Huh? Yeah, I, I didn't catch it. And then Crin saying, a fine is just the entry cost of the lawless fun park. Kyler, are you mayor? Like John? John Mayer? The guitarist? Yeah. Are you the guitarist of the lawless fun park? Mothers be good to your daughters. Daughters will love like we do. And then- Girls become mothers and turn into lovers. So fathers be good to your daughters too. Infinite Dragons Unlock saying at 218, yo, nah, what was that? And then I had to go find out what was happening at that timestamp. Kyler, you want to come, uh, you want to come uh, peep a uh, squeep at this and give me your eyeballs? That's what was happening. Michael. At <laughs> yeah, in the ad spot, straight up just Google on the green M&M. Fantastic, well, well done. And then we got Kilt the Gamer saying, Kyler coming up with the best off screen comments about what dogs would say if they were Pokemon. Pug, pug. <laughs> that was the joke. All right, uh, this joke of an episode's over. We'll be back here with more of the hottest tech news on Monday. We'll see you then.